What's up guys? So I'm starting this video. I'm about to go to work. Um, I'm going to go do my serving job at the nursing home. The reason why I'm starting it right now is because I'm actually going to hit the gym after, which is abnormal for me because I'm normally hitting it before. I've always loved doing more of a night workout, which I'm really glad we're going to be transitioning back into. Uh, me and my lifting partner because uh, I really like the late night workouts. It just hits different. I feel like I was getting a little bit tired of the morning workouts. I love morning workouts. They're still good. They're still workouts, right? But um, I just feel like I'm my energy levels are a little bit higher at night. I'm more of a night person. Definitely not a morning person. So I'm super excited. Um, we're gonna be hitting chest today, uh, chest and triceps. Um, it's a four by five today on bench. We're gonna see how it goes. I'll be honest with you though, lately my bench has been complete trash because the last, let's see, this was like two days ago we hit chest and back and my bench was just terrible. Like 135 literally felt like 215 or uh, 225 and I was just like, what? But it's weird, like so that's, that's something you have to take into account is like some days you'll have like super strong, like great days and then other days you'll just be feeling like the bar is like 315 it's crazy um, but I was super fatigued didn't sleep well the night before and I actually went out the night before so I was a little bit fatigued from that for sure um, had a couple drinks so that probably didn't help at all at this job that I work at um, I always eat after my shift so now I don't have to worry about coming back eating like taking time because my gym closes at 9 which I have no idea why. I'm gonna head over there about 7.30 or 7.15 and then it closes up at 9 so we're gonna hit a good workout in. Um, and of course I'm gonna film it for you guys. Um, I'm probably just going to film the workout. Let me know what you guys think about that because I can either do that or I can do like a voiceover or I can do like a little edit. Um, it'd be harder to do an edit because I don't have a super cinematic camera but I can definitely turn on the cinematic settings within this camera. Um, just to make it look a little bit prettier. Also, I might be hitting up a new gym this week, trying it out. Um, so stay tuned for that. If I do do that, I will definitely be filming that. So the new gym is like 15, 16 minutes away. And the gym that I work out at is like 8 minutes or so. So it's really not much of a difference. Um, not a huge difference anyways. And plus, I like the style of this gym. It's a little bit more hardcore. It's a little bit more laid back um, than like a recreational gym. Um, and on top of that, it's 24 hours, which is a game changer. So um, we'll see if I hit that up. I'm not sure yet, but if I do, I'll definitely take you guys with me. Other than that, I'll catch up with you guys after this work. Um, work should probably last around three hours, three and a half hours. I'll just rip it out, eat a good meal there, and then I'll be headed to the gym. So peace out. Pre-workout's probably going to be like coffee or something, but I'll oh, peace. All right, guys. So I just had uh, work. For about three and a half hours. By the way, look at this moon. I don't know if you can see that. It's really crazy. I don't know if you can see that. But anyways, <clears throat> I had a pork loin with a baked potato with like bacon bits and stuff on it. Wow, I'm so out of frame. Um, but yeah, it was good. It was a good little uh, pre-workout meal. Nothing big, nothing crazy, but um. We're going to head over to the gym right now. We're going to meet the boy and then hit chest and tries. And then I think tonight we're going to have some chicken. I don't know what else. Chicken, maybe some shrimp. I think there's some shrimp at my house. Anyways, you probably can't hear me very well, but I'm headed to the gym right now. And I'll show you guys when I'm there. Thank you. 
Huh? Justin felt really good. I actually hit a PR today. I hit uh, 245 um, on bench for five reps. It's good for me because 
you know, before before quarantine hit and everything, I was at like my strongest weight uh, in terms of like powerlifting and just numbers in general. Unfortunately, quarantine hit and I had to just completely start all over because of course I had like that long span of time where I was off from the gym. Lost a lot of weight, lost a lot of strength, but that happens. But back at it now, stronger than ever, which is great. Super, super happy about that. But anyways, I wanted to go over the topic of this video, which is actually the title of the video is How I Grew My Chest. Um, so from going from like this skinny guy, because I was very skinny back when I first started, because I was maybe 100 pounds when I first started sophomore year of high school. Um, I got into advanced physical conditioning, which is a class, basically a lifting class, weightlifting class, combined with like a fitness like conditioning class. And I was about 100 pounds, and I could barely bench like 125. I couldn't bench 135. I couldn't bench the plates, uh, the big wood plates. I wanted to break this up into three main things that have really, really help, helped me over the years for sure because um, I know there must be someone out there who could use this information um, and just strive to become better and have a bigger chest or whatever muscle group I mean honestly this filters off into other um, muscle groups as well and I'll make different videos of course but I do want to become a little bit more informative with my videos and helping people um, instead of just random content so that the main thing above all is quality over quantity so when I first started, I would always, you know, of course, the ego lifter would always want to um, push for more weight. I would always, you know, try to keep up with the people around me and stuff like that. And sometimes I would um, give up my form. And that's why I've found that I've gotten injured quite a lot. Um, but I've completely stopped that uh, method. And I have, honestly, what you're going to have to do is, you know, start from scratch you're gonna have to go back to the basics back to the drawing pad and you know break down the form <clears throat> so say you, you've been doing bench press for a long time you've been doing it wrong right maybe you're a little bit too close or maybe even a little bit too far away um, if you're too far away you're probably hitting your front delts if you're too close you're probably hitting your triceps so it, I mean in a bodybuilding sense if you want to build your uh, chest and your pectoral muscles um, find that spot where you really, really feel it squeeze. Um, just start over in terms of form. And that's what you're going to have to do, even if it means, you know, going back to 135. Coming from like 225, maybe you have to go back to 135, work your way up. And that's totally fine. It's not a big deal. Muscle memory will come like immediately. Um, may even take a week or so. It may take longer. But... I've found that I have definitely done that with many, many movements that I've neglected and just kind of uh, did poor form on just so that I could, you know, kind of look stronger. And that's my immaturity kicking in. So as I've gotten older and become more mature, I've definitely found a huge difference in doing that. So form over everything, quality over quantity. So that's number one. Number two, once you've mastered that, like, quality, um you know that quality over quantity numbers of course numbers are going to matter um if you're doing like 135 all the time every single week you're not going to get anywhere okay i mean you're going to have to go up so one week 135 next week 145 keep going up 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 and switch up the volume switch up the reps and the sets so like three sets of 10 one week three sets of eight another week if you really need help dm me or email me i'll leave all that information down below but I will totally help you guys out. And I also do programming if you guys are interested in something like that. So going up in numbers, that's extremely important. And making sure you're getting stronger. So bodybuilding, of course, a lot. some people, like when they first start out, they think bodybuilders only do like, like very low, low weight and then just do tons and tons of like sets and stuff like that. And like drop sets, supersets, tri-sets, all that fun stuff. But that's completely wrong. Bodybuilders are still trying to get stronger. I mean, that's how you stimulate the muscle for growth. Um, but they do f focus a little bit more on those um, variations of training. So your drop sets, your supersets, and everything like that. And they would use that to their advantage um, to you know break down the muscle fiber even further so that you can build muscle over time. <clears throat> 
But the only way you're going to truly get bigger and, you know, of course, stronger is putting on more weight on the bar. So if you mix the quality with the numbers and you just keep going up, you're gold. And then the last one I really wanted to mention is food, nutrition. Um, I think a lot of people will get into the gym and they'll just think that they can work out and then eat how they normally eat, which is probably not that, um, not, like not quite a lot, not, not nearly enough as what you need to build like good muscle. Um, and while a lot of athletes do go from, you know, their sports into their, uh, weightlifting, um, they still are not, you know, fulfilling the amount of calories that they should be. Especially if they're doing both, because if you think about it, like, say you have football practice, that's going to burn X amount of calories, which is going to be a lot of calories, and then you have weightlifting maybe early morning before it, that's going to burn a ton of calories as well. So you have all those calories that are just knocked out of your body. Now you're going to have to replenish them, so, <clears throat> and more. So it's important to realize that with weightlifting comes a lot of responsibility to eat a lot of food or else you just honestly will not grow like a ton. Um, you will grow a little bit, especially beginner's gains, but um, the only way you're gonna see good like natural growth is if you actually eat a lot of food, which I do. I eat a ton of food. I eat like 4,000 calories a day uh, currently, you know. Um, basically, I'm bulking right now, but that's another topic. Um, but yeah, calories, huge thing. A lot of people fall off the wagon. They'll start eating a lot and then they'll be like, oh, I don't feel good or something. Or like, oh, like I can't, I don't have enough time in the day. Figure it out. You know, like do meal prep. Earlier today, I meal prepped. If you saw my Instagram, you saw I made four meals of chicken and rice. That's easy four meals throughout the week that I'll use as my lunch. And I don't have to worry about anything for another four days. So you just got to have to be ahead of schedule. Try to avoid a lot of fast food places unless, I mean, if you're bulking and you're doing a dirty bulk and if you're okay with that, I'm personally not okay with that. But if you're okay with that, fast food's really easy to get a lot of calories in. I try to get good, like natural, wholesome foods. If you're into that, totally go for it. Yeah, so that's the three tips that I have for growing um, that I attribute to growing my chest. Um, I've definitely seen a lot of, um, a lot of growth over the past, honestly, over the past like six months. Um, rather, over the past like three months, which is crazy because you know the gyms opened up like three months ago or so from quarantine, um, and I have really I made it a I made it a statement to. Um, prioritize form uh, coming back from quarantine and also to prioritize consistency because consistency I mean I should have put that in the top three but that's that's like a given like you should know that like consistency with anything I mean you do something for a while you're gonna get better at it you're gonna get stronger you're gonna get whatever smarter you know really prioritize those two things and I have seriously, seriously seen a lot of gains in terms of strength and size and sculpture. So try it, try those three things, take those um, and, you know, do as much as you can with them and let me know what you guys think about them and if there's anything else that you think that would really help. Um, but for me, I know that those three things have really helped me out. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'd be happy to answer them. Other than that, I'm probably going to hit the bed. I'm really tired. Um, i got kind of a busy day tomorrow. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.